Captain Flynn and the Pirate Dinosaurs by Giles Andre and Russell Ato. This is Flynn. He's wearing his pirate t-shirt and colouring in a picture he has drawn of a dinosaur. Flynn loves dinosaurs. One day at school, Flynn was colouring in a new dinosaur picture when he realised he didn't have quite enough pens. Why don't you have a look in the art cupboard, Flynn? said Miss Pye, his teacher. I think there are more colours at the back. So Flynn opened the door and stepped into the cupboard. There were lots of paints and rolls of paper and pots of glue, but Flynn couldn't see any pens. As he searched, he heard a noise. Boo-hoo, boo-hoo, boo-hoo. And then, <laughs> sniff. <laughs> right at the back of the cupboard, under an old curtain, was something shaking and shuddering like a giant jelly. Flynn crept closer and closer. When he lifted up the curtain, he couldn't believe his eyes. It was a real live pirate captain. <laughs> Hello, said Flynn. What's the matter? The pirate, whose name was Captain Stubble, sniffed and looked at Flynn. My ship! They've stolen my ship! He sobbed. One minute I was fast asleep, and the next I was in the water watching my precious ship, the acorn, sail away. But who has stolen it? asked Flynn. I don't know, said Captain Stubble, but as I watched I heard a roar. And then a strange kind of song. It went, Yo ho ho, yo ho ho, somethingy somethingy, go go go. <laughs> hmm, very strange, said Flynn. How will you get your ship back? I don't know, blustered Captain Stubble. I can't do it on my own. I could help said Flynn bravely. And so will we. It was Flynn's friends, Pearl, Tom and Violet. We love adventures, they said. And just at that moment, the back of the cupboard fell away and they all tumbled out. Into a bright blue day when old pirate ship was waiting. She is not quite what I'm used to, said Captain Stubble. But if this ship helps me find my beloved acorn, then she'll do for me. All aboard! Right, me hearties, said Captain Stubble. If you're going to be pirates, you'll need to look like pirates. Flynn brandished a gleaming silver cutlass. And since you seem to be so brave, Flynn, he said, you can be the captain of this ship. I'd much rather be the cook. So Captain Flynn took over. And they sailed and sailed in search of the acorn. The pirates were about to give up hope 
when Pirate Violet shouted from the crow's nest. Ship ahoy! Stubble grabbed his telescope. That's my precious acorn, he cried. Let's board it, cried Captain Flynn. And reclaim your ship from those pirate baddies. All hands on deck! They sailed faster and faster and got closer and closer. When they were nearly alongside, Captain Flynn put the telescope to his eye. His face went white. The, they're not just ordinary pirates, he stammered. They're... Pirate dinosaurs! And that is exactly what they were. There was a pirate, Diplodocus, a pirate, Stegosaurus, a pirate, Triceratops, and a pirate, Pterodactyl. And right at the helm of the ship, steering its course with his claws on the wheel, was a great, big, pirate, Tyrannosaurus Rex. When he saw Captain Flynn, he roared an almighty roar. The dinosaurs sang out in their terrible voices. Yo ho ho, yo ho ho, pirate dinosaurs, go go go. Attack, cried Captain Flynn, and a great battle began. Clang, clash, swish, splash. It wasn't long before all the pirate dinosaurs jumped overboard in terror. All except the Tyrannosaurus Rex. He roared an almighty roar. Captain Flynn could see his huge, sharp, yellow teeth and his tonsils wobbling ferociously at the back of his throat. I challenge you to a deal, shouted Captain Flynn. I'm going to cut you up into little pirate sausages, yelled the Tyrannosaurus Rex, dribbling greedily. Then I'm going to put you on the barbecue and eat you up with much too much tomato ketchup. He added. Oh no you're not, yelled Captain Flynn and charged. Their cutlasses flashed and crashed and bashed and smashed. For at least two hours and twenty-five minutes until finally the Tyrannosaurus Rex was exhausted. Captain Flynn, he stammered, I surrender. You are such a great pirate that you should be the captain of all the pirate dinosaurs. Please spare me and I promise I'll be the goodest goody in the world. Honest. Then maybe one day I will be your captain, replied Captain Flynn. But now we'd better get back to school. It's almost lunchtime. So Captain Flynn took the wheel of the acorn. And while Pirate Pearl, Pirate Tom and Pirate Violet untied the crew, Stubble made a delicious shark's fin stew. When they got to the harbour, they waved goodbye to Captain Stubble and to the Tyrannosaurus Rex. Flynn saw that the door they had fallen through was still hanging open, so they all clambered in. And instantly, they were back among the paints and rolls of paper and pots of glue. Flynn grabbed some colouring pins 
and they all crept back into the classroom. And they all lived happily ever after, said Miss Pye, closing the book she had been reading. You've been in that cupboard a long time, Flynn. What have you been doing? Flynn smiled secretly at his friends. Oh, nothing, he said. Nothing really at all. <laughs>